Hello beautiful people, back to the opportunities to study in Canada for free. We are still on university scholarship and today we are talking about what a law university scholarship, which is undergraduate scholarship and other financial opportunities available at this university so that you can be able to study for free in Canada. So we're going to start about the financial aid scholarships available and all the opportunities make sure you stick until the end by starting first for undergraduate program we got the entrance scholarship so meaning during your application they'll consider your academic based in like your performance and other stars for your results to be get to be given the entrance scholarship so let's start the entrance scholarship awarded for that you can see they have different scholarships of our entrance scholarships some scholarship which doesn't require for you to do extra application like once you just applying for the admission at this university waterloo university waterloo university so you'll be considered direct for the scholarship so these scholarships mostly awarded in mid-may as you can see there but awarded primarily on academic and the personal achievements and bursaries or another type of assistance are awarded based on financial needs. So this is scholarship awarded based on primary on your academic and personal achievement, which you have done. But financial supports and other assistance based on your needs, family income, the economy status, etc. So this is scholarship which are coming there and no application is required. Many as long as you apply for the university, they look at your performance, they look at your personal achievement, and that's it, you get this scholarship. So if you are admitted, you can see, uh, if you are admitted to the Faculty of Art, Faculty of Art and chosen Renaissance University of College, as your academic home by co any scholarship would be awarded by there you see so the value pre the first of the scholarship which don't need the application is president president presidential scholarship of distinction so this is up to twenty thousand two thousand entrance scholarship and is early may admission average up to 95 percent you can get it and available to student admitted to full-time first year degree studies at this university and who are beginning post-secondary study for the first time in September. So also can see also on this presidential scholarship of distinction, you can see also 1500 international experience award worth a thousand or 1500 research award for those who are doing masters and etc. So you can visit the presidential scholarship webpage for full details. But also we got another which is presidential scholarship this is in distinction this is two thousand canadian dollars entrance and early may admission up to 90 up to 95 percent available to student admitted to full time also you can see much of the detail on the website there but also another is merit scholarship this is up to one thousand entrance scholarship the the value or the value for the scholarship which the the, the stipend will give you depend when you meet the merit, their merit requirement. So you can see up to 85% to 90% available to students also. First beginning, first undergraduate, and those post-secondary studies. But also entrance scholarship is sponsored by alumni and donors up to 1,000 one thousand to five thousand value academic performance based but also international student entrance scholarship this up to ten thousand worth each so about to international student admitted to first year full undergraduate program Ad academic performance minimum ninety percent admission average but also admission information form let's try to see this very important for international student so admission form, how do you submit, you read much of the detail, click here, go there, you can see information, conditional admission, March first, optometry, October 26, here others, you can see the, what is the deadline, etc. about the detail which you need to focus at. Apart from the above, 
option which you don't need extra application just when you present your application you upload all your details when applying for admission they'll consider you for all these scholarship depending if you fit any of those categories but the other which are scholarship which require a separate application like Stulish Leader Scholarship, which is up to a hundred scholarship awarded and half a value at hundred thousand dollars for engineering and half eighty thousand scholarship value for science and math scholarship for students admitted to program in science, technology, recipient must be Canadian or permanent residential based on academic. So this international student we don't we don't fit like this, but we got entrance scholarship sponsored by alumni or other donors up to 1,000, up to 20,000 Blackbird scholarship, indigenous in a program, but DRA entrance from Waterloo, Hong Kong, those can apply, Serbian education fund entrance, EU China, Hong Kong, the application deadline you can see April 15, but also Canadian Veterans Education Benefit funding up to 80,000. Detail available at their website. Did you know if you are etc.? So after you apply now, you got you maybe you fitted on those application scholarship which doesn't require the separate application, and you said, What let me choose one which i fit at this entrance maybe from scholarship by alumni you applied but also there are additional scholarship awards by faculty or program you can see about much of the details yeah so you need to check here for your courses well so as an any international student for example you checked on this maybe you just fitted on merit scholarship or fitted only international student entrance ten thousand each you just get ten thousand dollars canadian and you want to fund your studies so you might need to look for bursaries of other funding options available so you need to check on waterloo entrance bursary you go to their page here you check about approximately one thousand first year you see worthy you can see the worth is 500 up to 4,000, which you can get how to apply. You can see about the details here. And for more details, the application deadline is 15. Bursa will be awarded mid-May. So you can get all the details or secure this opportunity even before moving to Canada. Yep. But also, let me take you a little bit here about how to pay for university. What is financial? You can see how Waterloo can help in first year. So you can see you can get the entrance scholarship based on academic or personal achievement. Need to be repaid? No. Application required for a small number of scholarships. As we said, the value five thousand five hundred up to eighty thousand. You can get up to eighty thousand for first year. You see, but also we got entrance bursaries, financial need when you need now the financial need. So you go to this one, no need to repay application up to uh, apply by April 15 and 5,500 up to 4,000, which I just showed you a little bit first year. But also we got Waterloo Bursa, this Canadian student, government grants, financial need also first year varies. You see, government student loans also. You can see varies. So other sources of money for first year, you are saving or your family contribution here. You can see non-universal photo law scholarships, maybe from the government, which is sponsor the organization. But what about after first year? You started the first year, you got the entrance. So they got the upper year water law scholarship awards, also based on after first year. You can see also, so you can still start for free. After even your first year, first year and the upper year, you can see the Ontario. This Ontario seems to be for non for non Canadian. So from outside can student from outside Ontario learn about student assistant for Canadian students outside Ontario. Ontario assistant. So let's try to check that. You come here like student required to apply for government aid through their home province. Visit your home province student aid website to find out more. So you should you should try to check your home website.
before so that you can get much of, about the detail which you need to to see so you check about the home provisional id website interest id website etc there is one thing i wanted to show you here but also if you are non water law scholarship also there are a couple of website you might need to visit to gain much of the details about how to apply so the best option guys is just to apply click on admission yeah here we go what would you like to study you select if you're applying for undergraduate or and a graduate then you select the major maybe you find the program if it's business you type business you find my your program or you could just come here and choose the admission requirement transferring but let's make it yeah so you can see about the undergraduate and the graduate program are based on business some of them part-time some of them full-time but you should be sure about the scholarship which you want to apply and the courses which you select so i'm gonna need to check on accounting finance business administration computer science or business this one what and mathematics for example you click that then five years two degrees one serious edge you come, you read about the detail, faculty, admission requirement, advanced function, calculus and vectors, and grade 12U English, not studying, etc. Admission average, individual selection for low 90s, where to apply, what a law, get the tips about how to apply, etc. etc. When you are interested now, you go on and apply. So that's it that's it you go on and apply and they'll be considered for this course so make sure you be care when choosing between the courses and check if they are part-time or full-time because even the scholarship have their own requirements see you at waterloo university